That's a lot of cereal. Mallet Creek is known for Kellogg's, Cereal City. Even that post is right across the street from Kellogg's. And then General Mills is right down the street too. Where that at? Right there? Boom, there's proof. Mallet Creek's proud of it. But the rest of the country, not so much. All they talk about is Kellogg's when it comes to... Can you get the Barbie in there? The, this Barbie? Oh yeah, and this Barbie. It's a different one too. That Barbie. And this Barbie! Yay! match and also he's going to be wrestling so that's fun too just going to work together <laughs> we're in battle creek michigan battle in the creek three big show and uh here we're at the Kellogg center arena my homecoming also the homecoming weekend for penfield panthers dude the synchronicity is off the charts we're at intermission right now, so I'm uh, getting warmed up, ready to go out there, be the whole effing show. How's my hair look? How's my hair? There's no mirrors, dude. Um, I haven't been filming a whole lot, but uh, we'll see what I can put together for this week's episode. Whoa, look at that dude. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> I'm ready, RBB. Yeah, they Those are cute. <laughs> Battle Creek, yeah, Great, La Great Lakes there. champion! Woo! Sweet. Yeah, post that on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Recognition. That is cool. You made that yourself? Are you an artist? No. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. He still made it. <laughs> I don't know. You look like an artist to me. Yeah. Cool. Didn't even know they were made, right? Yeah, right. Random eBay I got it. And this one is actually in a package. Yeah. Interesting. Good. Didn't know. I didn't either. I never even knew they made them. Cool. So, where should I sign anything? Just like, right? Yeah, I'm going to do like right where the other one is. I can never remember. Yes, I'm a. That's cool. I don't remember ever seeing a, a fan bring a replica of the original ECW television championship belt. I have I have this real belt in my room, in my uh, in my amazing RVD accomplishments room. Lovely room. Yeah, yeah. And I have it up on the wall and it looks like that but way more beat up. And and you know they changed the look of it when they did the JMAR belts and had all of them and, and so that's the one I always see. So this one really stands out. I really don't know if I've ever seen it. Was there a replica belt of uh, this before? No, there wasn't. Okay, so I haven't seen it yet. Holy shit. Super cool. Battle Creek, yo. Man. I always get asked, like, what's the strangest thing oh, no, or rarest crazy. thing? You gotta ask the side. And it's oh always a God, thought thing, but this crazy. one will be fresh on my mind for a minute. RVD with oh, the snake. Xbox. Crazy, yeah, yes, sir. Hey, and then if you want, we can Ooh. tag a little picture together. If you got, let's do it. And then they know Rob read all these books. Right. I <laughs> think the ECW was the first time he stole came and then read. <laughs> like an inspirational speech or whatever. What was that? I think this was the first time you came back in the old high school. I had oh. been teaching very long. 
Okay. And you gave like an inspirational speech, so. Yep. Are you giving inspirational you speech to high schoolers and I've been listening to you? I know. They're all chatting and. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I was like. got this outfit from uh, Joe Holland and uh, it is for my AEW match. We saw a picture of it. Katie went and got her nails done. Uh, they kind of matched the outfit, right? Yeah. It's, oh, really? Yep. Did you get a blue braid in your hair? Yeah, I'm getting that done in the morning, but oh. I got blue hair to match it. She's getting a braid in her hair to match my outfit. She's got an outfit to match it because she's going uh, to GR with RVD to support. Oh, nice. And so nice. let's check it out. Uh, let's check it out. You agree with me, baby? Yeah. All right, cool. The opening of the Joe Holland outfit. Still the man, Joe, after all these years, after painting my first outfit in like 90. You're showing the address. 94. I'm not even, now I got it. No, I did it on the video. It's just for Joe. Oh, it's on hers, on hers, okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's why I just to send Joe. Anyway. Um, Icky Beaky Bada Boo, out I pull, you, I don't know, boom, all right, check it out, Ooh, lots of colors hey. here, well, right off the bat, this reminds me of Michael Zansky, the Canadian Tiger, he wore colors like this in, uh, in, in Japan, oh, that's and nice, and it matches Sweet. my nails, see your nails up here, baby, yeah. Let's yeah, see the nails again. Yeah, look at that. All right. <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, I've been working on my tan. I got like uh, another tanning session, maybe a spray tan too, to make sure I can uh, look good in these colors. Of course, I'm in the best shape ever. And uh, this is another badass outfit. It was white. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looks uh, more like it's gotten more color on it. I like yeah, it. That's the white outfit. Yeah. I like Fucking it. Fucking A. Yeah. So, this is what you're going to see me on uh, wearing. At least, nothing's absolute 100% until it happens. We know that in the RVDology world. But these are my plans. I'm going to be wearing this Saturday, AEW Collision. Boom. Don't miss it. TBS, TNT, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. Check your local guides. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby, ready for this story? Yeah. Okay, here's a full circle moment. I'm at the Kellogg Center Arena, right? Mm -hmm. And um, this is where the wrestlers used to come out from the dressing room. They'd come out here, and then sometimes there'd be a curtain there, or uh, sometimes even even not a curtain. They would just walk to the ring. But me and Dango, we'd get up here, and, uh, and we'd look over the edge so that we could see any of the wrestlers that came out. And sometimes they'd be hanging out. This is all backstage, so uh, wrestlers would be, like, standing around or whatever if people would let them and not harass them like us. But uh, it was at my uh, first show here that uh, I got the idea that I wanted to be a pro wrestler. And I knew, because it was already set up, that this lady... I didn't know what she looked like, but her name was Miss T, Tanya or Miss T. And I was to meet her. I was to look for her to come out and then uh, identify myself. So I was right there, hang, you know, hanging over, hanging over the uh, balcony uh, right there. Every time a female would come out, I go, Miss T, Miss T. And then uh, eventually, this one lady uh, heard me and looked up and said, Robbie? And I was like, oh, yeah. You know, so good. And, and then, so she got me, she got, she said it was okay for me to come back here. So I got to uh, come back and the security guards uh, with her let me to come back. And I stood like right there. And uh, the wrestlers go out uh, through that door down, down there and then go out through 
like a through uh, a room into the across the street into where the parking lot was. But the rest of us would had to walk from that door here and then uh, vice versa. So I was here with Miss T when some of the wrestlers uh, would be walking by and I was just standing up against that wall right there and they'd come by and I met Hillbilly Jim and I met Andre the Giant and I met our good friend B. Brian Blair uh -huh. right here. Wow. And uh, his partner, Jim Brenzil, the Killer Bees, um, and uh, of course, Lanny Poffo. And so it was here that Tanya, Miss T, said, you like wrestling so much, you should start lifting weights. And when you're 18, I can get you in. And I was like, what? Whoa, that would be so cool. And then she planted the seed. And by the time I was old enough to break in, I had lost contact with her. Don't know where she is now. Hopefully she knows of my success, but it all started with me leaning over that very railing right there, screaming, Miss T!